so welcome back to dr kalayedio today we are going to discuss on sex determination in maize so why it is maize so here also in maize the genes some of the genes which impacts the uh, determination in its sex that is maybe an female or male so we call it uh, maize as biologically zea maize i think you all know it's called as zea maize okay so what is the special in this maize so maize is generally an monoecious plant that is male and we all know that monoecious means male and female flower male and female flowers present on the same plant present on the same plant we call this condition as monoecious okay so the very very common this monoecious condition is common in maize so as we said both the male and female flower are in the same plant so that the there is and two types of inflorescence here here what is the thing is both the flowers are present that is male and the female flowers are present in two different inflorescence so first is an terminal inflorescence so we call the male flowers as tassel so terminal tassel okay as the word itself given terminal you should get understood that it develops from shoot apex merged or shoot apical meristem from there it develops and then lateral so lateral means so it develops in an it develops in a pistillate florets okay so it develops in a pistillate florets we call this as ear or cob okay so l for e right so t for t and l for e so terminal means it is an male flower and lateral means it is an female flower so commonly we all know that uh, so the maize plant it will be like this so if it is and from shoot apex we'll have tassel here that is female flowers here so this is tassel and the male uh, sorry female flowers will be here so we have silk like structures here when we purchase the corn with that full green cover we can see some uh, brown color thread like structures which is called as silk like structures here so the female will be in the lateral side and the male will be in the terminal side okay till here you are clear so next here here what happens in maize why it leads to monoecious condition here is it due to selective abortion so that is selective abortion means what happens is in ear florets what is mean by ear florets it is an female i told you here ear florets what will happens the stamens will get aborted here the stables are not formed here so in tassel what is that tassel is a male flower what florets what here it will happen is the pistil which get aborted okay so this is called as a selective abortion which is specific to this maize plant so what happens here this is because why this uh, sex determination happens due to the substitution mutation so substitution mutation of two single gene pairs you want to be no getting notice this substitution mutation of two single gene pairs so here we used to call that female flower as barren plant okay female as barren plant and tassel as ts okay so here baba black sheep ba and tusk you think of elephant's tusk so it is tassel ts okay so mendelian characters we used to express in capital letter and small letter dominant and recessive but here in the sex determination we are going to write everything in small letters okay so it's an ba for barren and tassel for ts so here a specific particular condition they are explaining for you uh, in your book that is when if it is homozygous when the condition is homozygous what will happens is the stalk staminate will be produced it will getting supposed it makes to support 
that is to that in homozygous recessive condition okay wait so this i will explain this tabular column later we will come to this point you will get understood so here what i told you is ba is for female and ts is for male so here if you put plus it is an dominant condition if it is minus it is an recessive condition or they may not express the recessive condition so plus if it there is an indication of plus like this so it is an dominant character here okay so in this first condition what we are seeing is both b female and the male they are recessive they are not represented with plus symbol so they are recessive so we call it as double recessive so if it's double recessive what happens modification will be it lacks the silk on the stock okay so the silk will not be there in the stock but what will happen is it is transformed to the tussle to pistil okay so the tussle may be changed to pistil here because both are recessive so we call it this as an rudimentary female so rudimentary means inadequate or we can tell that the expression will be very less okay simple manner it is very less that is called as rudimentary female now we come back to this point here so what is here i am telling here is when it is homozygous recessive this recessive only i came to explain here so when it is homozygous recessive what will happen is the stock staminates will be makes that is it is going to be get the female will going to try to support male to get expressed as it itself gone as an recessive gene here so what will happen in this tussle seed is it transfers tussle into an pistillate structure what is i have written here so tussle to pistil so the same way what the male will think okay i am now an recessive plant now i will support the female to get expressed but what happens here is both the things will not be expressed completely which we call it as an rudimentary female condition okay till here it is very very clear so first condition is over so what is the second condition here so second condition what happens here is t is here also plus okay so here ts that is the male flower is dominant here so if the male flower is dominant what will happen so the expression will be male so here ba ba that is female is gone recessive male is gone dominant so what happens the silk will not be produced the thread like structure silks is not produced and it have tussle so the female uh, male inflorescence is produced hence it is an male inflorescence here male flower will be produced so next the third condition is here this is last okay so in this third condition what will happen here is same reverse ulta it got ulta here so what happened here is the female is getting dominant and the male is getting recessive obviously what is the thing is it bears cob so cob we call it as ear so it is a female floret okay so it bears cob and it lacks tussel it bears cob and lacks tussel so hence it is a normal female inflorescence okay so till here no doubt so we have seen a condition of double recessive condition where there is a lacking expression of both male and female and again the expression of male where both the genes are getting dominated here so here again we see that female both ba ba here that pair it's getting dominated so we are getting female flowers okay now what is this fourth condition so this fourth condition is the very important condition what we commonly seen in the maize plant so here both the things are getting dominated that is both the gene are expressed as dominant so it is called as a double dominant okay so what will happen they have both tussel that is or cob or here that is the tussel also will be present and that cob is also present so hence this condition is monoecious condition so this condition is very very common in the maize plant okay so this is very very common in maize plant and dioecious condition is 
very very rare in the maize plant what we come across here the second and the third condition leads to dioecious plants but that condition is very very rare and this condition is common that monoecious condition is common here so why this happens so these all are due to the sex determination based on the combination of its alleles so how this alleles are getting combinated with that only the what type of sex is going to be expressed is determined okay so hence sex determination in maize another important point here is mutation so the mutation in gibberellin biosynthesis okay so the mutation in gibberellin biosynthesis and very important point that it supports that um, sex determination how means it suppress it suppresses the it suppresses the stamens in the florets of ear okay so it suppresses the stamens in the florets of ear ear so this is an very important thing here okay so which leads to the sex determination in maize i think you will be very very clear i have explained you very simple in about the sex determination in maize so regarding exam point of view you will be getting all these combinations they may ask in the one mark or what is tus terminal or what is tussle what is ear or cob only one or two marks questions are expressed in this part and uh, it is also a small important topic regarding neat so if you have any doubts in this video you can comment me in the comment section i will clear your doubts so thank you